What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Minzy, and I would love for you to consider to subscribe to my channel because here we talk about all things fragrances. All right, guys, I come back with another full in-depth review dedicated to one single fragrance again today. This type of video is my favorite to do, even though it doesn't get the most views of the bunch compared to other kinds of video. But you know what, to me, it just shows that I actually love my fragrance and I does spend some quality, good quality time to understand and to connect with my fragrances. Now, today we're gonna talk about a row fragrance. And to me, over the years, I find that it's get hotter and hotter for rose fragrances to impress me because this is just one of the most popular genre of fragrance and there are so many rose fragrances on the market that I feel like it's a little bit abundant. I do have quite a few rose fragrances in my collections, but so far there is only one rose fragrance that makes two my top favorites for life. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know which fragrance I'm talking about. It is Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Marly. But of course, we're not gonna talk about Delina exclusive today because I already did a full in-depth review for that fragrance. So recently, I just discovered this rose fragrance and I kid you not, I kid you not, I fell in love with this fragrance right at my first sniff. And it is Hibiscus Mahajat from Maison Crivelli. And this is how the bottle looks very simple beautiful red bottle and this is how the cap looks so you can see the name of the brand on the cap and the logo this fragrance comes in a 50 ml bottle because it is an x-ray the buffon and guys this really took me by surprise at how much I love it just right on my first sniff. All right, before we talk about how this fragrance smell, let me give you the main accords and the notes first. So the main accords of this fragrance are floral, rose, vanilla, aromatic, green, fresh spicy, soft spicy, fruity, musky, and leather. This is a creation by Quentin Beach, launched in 2021. So the notes for this fragrance are hibiscus, damask rose, vanilla, cassis, leather, spicy mint, umbra, and cinnamon. All right guys, let's talk about how this fragrance smell, shall we? So upon my first spray on the paper, hibiscus mahajat gives me Delina, the original one, right away. And that makes sense because this fragrance is created by the same perfumer that makes Delina, which is Quentin Beach. He is actually one of my favorite perfumers because his style really resonates with me. Now, when I spray this fragrance on my skin, I still can see that resemblance of Delina but much, much less. In the opening, I get a very bright, uplifting, watery, and juicy blast of the fruitiness and the rose. I honestly don't know what hibiscus smells like, but I get a lot of rose in this fragrance. And this is not a dark, mature rose. This is a beautiful, watery pink rose that is drenched in the morning dews. I love how the cassis is added in this fragrance instead of the rhubarb. To me, the cassis give that fruity, green, and effervescent vibe without the sharpness and the sourness. But what makes this fragrance so different and unique is the mint note and the leather note added in here. I'm telling you, these two notes 
will stay the entire wear of this fragrance. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the minty notes, but somehow it just worked incredibly beautiful in this fragrance. You will get that cool, fresh menthol quality from the mint that makes this fragrance so deliciously mouth-watering like a rose mojito. The leather is not in the forefront of this fragrance, but I promise you it is there lurking in the background and giving off such a gothic, dark, and mysterious quality. It sounds odd and doesn't even make any sense, but Hibiscus Mahajad is a beautiful, minty, leathery rose fragrance. That smell bright, delightful, uplifting and dark and mysterious at the same time. All right, let's talk about the vibe of this fragrance. To be honest, I haven't figured out the vibe of this fragrance yet. I would imagine a girl who doesn't give a flying F about what people think about her. She is delightful, optimistic, and fun to hang out with, but still has that edge. She does not let anything or anyone define her and you better not mess with her because she's not gonna let us lie, okay? She's not gonna let us lie. If you cross her, you're done. So be careful with her thorns and handle her with care. That's my advice. What about the performance of this fragrance? All I can say is the performance of this fragrance it's Stella. It will fill a room. I spray Hibiscus Mahajat on a blotter and I left the blotter in my bedroom and I can still smell it in the hallway all the way to my living room. I love how this fragrance projects and leave a beautiful sillage. I feel like Quentin Beach is such a master at making his fragrance so powerful without overwhelming. For the longevity, guys you don't have to worry about it it lasts and lasts forever which makes sense because this is an XK the parfum so it is supposed to last so I actually got this fragrance in my PR package but you know me my opinion belongs to me I am in no obligations to talk about this fragrance at all in fact I was just sent this fragrance I think because they like my content but they don't ask me to pose or to say anything good about this fragrance. I just genuinely fall in love with it and I feel like this is really worth the price tag because consider the scent, it is very, very unique and the performance is just Stella. It is just a 10 out of 10 all around fragrance that I have nothing to complain about. And I honestly feel the price tag is still acceptable because this is an Exclay de Parfum. Like they give you the best of the best for a very reasonable price. So yeah guys, that is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoy my review of Hibiscus Mahajat. Please let me know if you have tried this fragrance and what you think about it. But until next time, I love you guys. Stay safe and happy holidays.